In this video, we're going to talk about the grid layout that you can use in Bootstrap. And this is really the big piece of functionality that people like to utilize in the Bootstrap framework. Now, the first question you might ask is, why use a grid layout? Well, the big reason is it provides structure. It will provide structure to your layout and you can easily add content. Now, the grid system uses a series of rows and columns to control all of your content. And that's the great thing about Bootstrap is that its grid layout will adjust perfectly to the width of any browser, no matter what device they are using. So that's really what's nice about the grid layout. They have provided a majority of the CSS to handle all the different types of browsers and devices that will act access your website. Now, the other thing that's very nice about the grid layout is it's very easy to maintain. You can add or remove content as you please. Now, Bootstrap's grid system allows up to 12 columns. You can put those right across the page in a 12 column layout. Now, usually you won't use 12 columns. You'll use something a little bit smaller than that, but you can go up to 12 columns, individual columns actually, if you want to create your web page in that manner. Now, you can also rearrange the size of each one of those grids, and we'll get to that later on. Now, we're going to go ahead and start out with a six grid layout in this video. So let's waste no time here and let's get going. Let's go ahead and set up our initial grid layout in Bootstrap. So let's go ahead and get rid of this H1 element. And what we're going to do is add our very first Bootstrap class. And this is the class you need to start with first. It's the container class. So let's go ahead and create a div for that. And the class that we're going to reference is called container. Pretty simple. Now this is a predefined class that Bootstrap already provides. And it is a requirement. You must wrap all of your grids inside this container class. The good news is all of the CSS has already been done for us. This is, after all, a framework. And so we don't have to do anything else. And again, this will house all of the grids that we add. Now there's two types of classes that you can use here. You can use this container class, and there's also a container hyphen fluid class, but we're gonna talk about that later. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and use the container class. And once again, Bootstrap provides all the code that we need. And this is considered a responsive fixed width container. And that's opposite from the container fluid class, which contains a full width container. But again, we'll talk about that later in another video. So, okay, let's go ahead and close out this div. Now, within the container class, we need to create a div for the row class. So let's go ahead and do that. And we just specify row. And you know what, we didn't close this div down here, so let's close that. And that closes, of course, our container div. And let's go ahead and close our row div. Now, as I said, the row class is another predefined class in Bootstrap that you can use. And again, it always goes inside the container class. So this is sort of the basic framework that you'll have for the Bootstrap grid. You'll always specify the container class, and then you'll put in the row class. Now, the row class will allow us to add our columns, which we're going to do in a few minutes. So that's basically what it allows us to do. So basically, we'll add all of our columns inside of our row div and then we'll have a very basic grid that we can start to take a look at. So let's go ahead and add our very first column. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this in here and of course as usual I will explain it. So here is our first grid column that we're going to be adding. Now again, we're gonna go ahead and use a predefined class. Now the bootstrap grid has four major classes that you can call, and you can see them down here. XS for phones, SM for tablets, MD for desktops, and LG for larger desktops. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the MD class. And this is the format that you always use. Now I'll explain it. Now you first have to specify COL hyphen, and that of course is for column. That always goes first. Then you can pick and choose what type of size you want. And this again equates to sizes. So this XS will be a smaller grid. If you put in SM, that'll be a little bit larger grid. If you put in MD, you'll have an even larger grid. And the largest grid, of course, is for larger desktops. And again, we're gonna go ahead and just choose MD. Now at the end, you'll see this number here. So even these have different sizes as well, and it relates to numbers. Usually it's one through six, six being the largest and one being the smallest. Now we're gonna go ahead and choose two, but you could specify a different number depending on the size of the column that you wanted. So again, each one of these classes comes in different sizes, and usually it's one through six. So again, we're gonna go ahead and use two. So again, this is a predefined class. We don't even have to add any CSS for this. Bootstrap handles it for us. It will recognize this format. So let's go ahead and add 
six more columns. That's what we wanted to do for our grid layout. And we'll just copy and paste each one of these in here. So we've got six columns. And then let's just go ahead and update each one of these appropriately. And there we go. We've got all of these updated and our grid is almost ready to go. So let's go ahead and actually do a save now. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and open up the website folder and I want you to go ahead and create a style sheet. You can name it whatever you want. And then we're going to go ahead and open that in Notepad. And we're just going to add a little background to the row. And we're just going to use the color of lavender. So that's the rule that we need. So let's flip back and then we just, of course, need to add an entry to our web page for that new CSS file. You didn't think we were going to get away with using all of Bootstrap's CSS, did you? We have to add a little bit of ours as well. So I'll go ahead and just copy and paste that here. And here it is. So we're just going to point to that. Okay, now I think we're good to go. So let's save this up. And let's go ahead and open this up in Chrome and let's see what we get. There we go. Take a look at that. We've got our very first grid layout. And you can see here's the lavender background we got for the row. Here are our columns, which when we add content to them, which we'll get to later, they will extend down this way. And you can see how it's nice and sized. Look, this is our container right here. It's containing all of our columns. And if we resize it, you can see what happens. Actually, it rearranges them for a smaller viewport. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And so that is media queries. Take a look at that. Bootstrap is already applying media queries automatically for us, depending on the width of the browser. And see how that stays nice and aligned? Very, very nice indeed. So this is a very basic grid, but we are going to add a lot more to this in the next video. See you guys then.